Miss McMullen. I'm trying to figure out how to measure the volume of this liquid in here. Okay. Would you like me to show you? Yes, please. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is take a look where, well, you need to get down eye level. Okay. And look where the water stops, okay, which is about right here, correct? Yes. And then look at the number on the other side okay. to see okay. where the line is. So the line is right here. Mm -hmm. So it's reading 60. It's reading 60. Okay, so that would be the volume of the liquid in that container. Okay. Now, what what would you measure the volume in? How do we measure? Oh, you're talking or about the what unit. Unit, unit. The I'm sorry, unit. what unit? Okay, mm -hmm. so um, up here it says ml, so I'm going to say milliliters. Milliliters, All that's right. right. Okay. So the volume inside this graduated cylinder is 60 milliliters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, and you can do the same thing with this tool. Do you know what this tool is called? No. Okay, it's a beaker. Oh, a beaker. Oh, okay, beaker. All right, okay, thank you. it is a beaker, and it is also used to measure the volume of liquids. Okay. And it's the same thing. You need to get down eye level and look and see where the line is going across the numbers. Okay, so mm -hmm. can you okay. see that? Yes, I can see that the line is between 200 and 300. Mm -hmm. But I see that the numbers are uh, increasing on this side and decreasing on that side. Which mm -hmm. side would I use? Okay, you want to use the side where the numbers are increasing. Okay, so going from the bottom here okay, all the so way to the top. Increasing from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. So I want to use that side. So in between, so here, this is 200, so in between. So that's 250 milliliters? Yep, 250 milliliters. Okay. You have your ML right there. Oh, okay. So I noticed that there's uh, not as many numbers and um, what are those things called? Increments? Units? Yes. So okay. is which one's more accurate? Um to measure the volume. Well, um actually the graduated cylinder is gonna be more accurate because you have see the little lines right here? Mm -hmm. So those represent one unit. Okay? Oh, okay. So it's a lot easier to get an accurate measurement using a graduated cylinder. Here you're kind of estimating, you know, because it's in increments of fifty. Oh, I see. Well, thank you so much, Ms. McMullen. You're welcome. You were very helpful.